Mr. Day was celebrated in the films in those days, Border Percy Day, and he'd been working in France as a special effects man in the films. And he came to England because his sons had reached the age when they would have to join the service in the French army, and he didn't want that to happen, so he came back to England to work. And how did you know of him? I came to know him because I was heard that he, a man had, an artist had come to live in the neighborhood, and so I hurried round to see if I could do something or help with him, because at that moment I was at the depths of misery because I was painting as a grease monkey in a garage and I wanted to better myself and that's when I met him. I was interested in film always of course because that was something that we'd, we'd our major, it wasn't television in those days so you'd go to films on weekends as a pleasure to see uh, great pictures that were made in those days movies. And what did Walter Percy Day do? Walter Percy Day did what I eventually began to do, and that was special effects. He would paint matte paintings, and that's where he taught me how to paint, so I could paint matte paintings. Matte paintings are partially painting and partially live action, so when you join the two together so you think you're looking at a city when there no city exists, it's painted on the film not on the film, but it's photographed, part and parcel of the actual that's happening in the ac live action part. Now, Mr. Day was an innovator of sorts of that. What, yes, what, he was. What was his involvement in this development? His involvement was probably very unusual because he was, as I was saying, he came to, went to France, as was work there, much more work in France. In those days, they were making movies in France and he went there to work. And that was way back in 1913, or so 19, no, 1930. What kind of equipment was used? Same kind of equipment as we have now. It's remarkable how little it has advanced. The camera we're using today probably was made in those, not made in those days, but was designed in those days. Bell and Howe camera was celebrated as a camera that was steady. Some cameras jiggled, that is, you couldn't put them through the same, uh, and shoot them, and then shoot again with the same, you rewind and reshoot, you'd have a jiggle between the two, you'd have movement between the two. Except with the Bell and Howe, which was considered the steady. Problem with the Bell and Howe, it made a noise, so you, in, when talkers came, the Bell and Howe was no good. It made a clatter could be heard. So what was done after that, when the talkies came in? They had to come up with a Mitchell camera that was quiet, but they had to put a big box around it so the sound didn't come off. What did you learn from Mr. Day? I learned everything that I know might, I might know now because he taught me perspective, what well, made me teach myself perspective. Perspective, of course, is a very difficult part of painting for a young man who hasn't been to school. And it took me a long time to overcome that uh, fear of not knowing perspective. Perspective is simple once you get to know it. What did you do in the studio in those early days? In those days I would clean the brushes, wash the, wash this paint off the painting, the glass that had been already painted on. If it had been photographed and no use, I'd have to clean that all off and re resurface it so we could paint another painting on it. What about the technique of painting itself? What did you learn from Mr. Day there? Technique of painting, of course, was there. Where I, that's where I learned it with Mr. Day. He taught me. He was very impatient and very strict, and that was good because it made me keep my brain a little better working than it had been in the past. He was a great help to me. He was the man who turned my life around, actually. And how did he do that? Yeah. Because of taking me in as his assistant. He eventually became a 
so celebrated in the film business they got the Order of the British Empire, which was a high honour given by the Queen to those who had done great service to the Queen, to the film business. So he was well known, very celebrated, and I was extremely fortunate to be with him. I, my life was completely turned around when I met him. And what did he do for your technique? I had to learn it myself by being around him and and uh, with I worked right beside him. I would work be working here and he'd be working here and be saying no 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 what you're doing there, are you doing it wrong? And point out what I was doing wrong. He eventually became your stepfather, is it? Yes, he married my mother. Did that change your working relationship at all? No, same thing just made it easier for me because I then could live on the premises in his house how and long, be there all the time. How long did you remain with Mr. Day? That was, a, that was rather sad in some respects because once I got to know and my, I became quite good at this, there was no, there ceased to be a, a bond between us. And I realized that I had to move on and that time had come when we would separate and work separately, which, it, which was hurtful in some respects because I had everything to, I, oh, he, learned, he taught me everything. 